That was good. Thank you. So where do we go from here? Well, hopefully they'll make us an offer. I mean, you and me. You got me all excited about living another 40 years or so. Did I? If only I'd known getting arrested could have such an upside. All the crimes I could have committed. Leo, I, I represent you, so it would be extremely unethical to me to... to kiss you. So now you're in trouble? Big trouble. You'll call? What's wrong with you calling? Oh, I meant if we get an offer. I'll definitely be calling. Night, Leo. Night. <clears throat> 750,000? I think we have to take it. And they'll waive the forgery charges. They will. You'll have a check this week. Wow. What can I say? Marry me. Then half the money would be mine, I suppose. You know, once this case is over, I won't be a client anymore. N no, you won't. I mean, you'll be free to do... whatever. I suppose I will. But you shouldn't do it here. Might you let us have a single date before counselling me on... Harriet. Relationships start with a single date. I'm not your mother, but since your parents are in England and I'm the one that hired you, I would ask you to think very carefully about this. Common sense can be an ugly beast sometimes, can't it? Where's my money? I was in the neighborhood and thought... Well, actually, I wasn't in the neighborhood. I had to fight like hell through traffic to get here. But now that I am here... What? I spent a rather long night of the practical soul. Oh. I don't fare very well against practical. I don't think it would be a great idea for me to fall in love with you, Leo. And I fear if I were to spend time with you, I'd have no choice. I realize I'm guilty of a bigotry. But as bigotries go, one of the more reasonable ones. You're an incredible man. I just don't think I can go where this would inevitably lead. Pretty selfish of me to expect otherwise. Well, it's just... Katie. I get it. 